हेलो एवरी वन सो वी आर नाउ स्टार्टिंग अ स्मॉल डिस्कशन ऑन स्टैंडर्ड नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बेसिकली माई एजेंडा विद दिस लेक्चर इज टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी कैन रीड द टेबल ओके जेड टेबल हाउ वी कैन रीड द जेड टेबल ऑल्सो आई हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ यू कैन कैलकुलेट दीज वैल्यूज इन द एक्सेल एज वेल क्लियर नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दिस स्टैंडर्ड नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वट इट इज it is basically a specialized version of the normal distribution now i tell you you should write it down what is a standard normal distribution it is a specialized version of normal distribution normal distribution clear now if suppose i say that the weights of 100 students in the class are normally distributed are normally distributed so how how will i draw the graph this is the way i i'll draw the graph but this graph is for class 6 student okay so if this graph is for class 6 student then what is the mean over here we know that in the normal distribution over here we have the mean value suppose the mean value is 30 kg clear but there are some student whose weights are say 44 kg who are very healthy there are some students as well whose weight is very less say 19 kg they are very thin clear towards the left and towards the right clear similarly similarly if i'll draw this curve for class 7 or let us say rather than class 7 let us see class 12 okay now their mean weight is going to be say 58 kg clear some students are among the weights of uh, maximum weights of 74 and there are some students whose weight is 40 kg as well clear similarly you will see that if you want to compare these two curves okay if you want to compare these two curves you cannot compare why because their scale their scales are different because over here we have 19 over here we have 40 over here 44 over here 74 over here 30 over here 58 clear so if we want to compare any two classes say class 6 and class 12 okay if we want to compare that so what we need to do we need to scale them we need to scale them and bring them on the same parity so that we can compare these two classes so that we can compare these two classes clear so what we do we have to standardize these values we have to standardized these values and after standardizing these values what i'll getting i'll be getting a normal distribution what i'll be getting i'll be getting a normal distribution sorry standard normal distribution where i am assuming that my mean of the whole data set is equals to 0 and the standard deviation of the whole data set is equals to 1 clear so what i'll do i'll simply i'll simply adjust 19 kg simply i will adjust 40 kg i'll adjust 30 kg 58 kg 44 74 i standardize these values i standardize these values how will i am going to standardize 19 minus 0 19 minus 0 divided by the standard deviation what is the standard deviation of these data what is the mean of this data suppose over here you will get the mean as 30 over here your mean is 30 and what is the standard deviation of these data suppose the standard deviation of these data is 4 so now you will be able to standardize it this is a standardized value that is 19 minus 30 divided by 4 that is minus 2.75 so over here you will plot minus 2.75 clear similarly how you will standardize this value 40 minus 58 suppose over here standard deviation is 6 then 40 minus 58 divided by 6 that is minus 3 how much is the value minus 3 let us keep the scale differently for class 12 minus 3 clear are you understanding now the mean part over here it will become zero over here it also will become zero because 30 minus 30 divided by 4 zero 58 minus 58 divided by 4 6 zero now we need to standardize these two values so it will be 44 minus 30 divided by 4 how much it is going to be 14 divided by 4 that is 3.5 so over here value is 3.5 and 74 minus 58 divided by 6 2.66 2.66 so 
so can i say that in class 12 in class 12 the values which is towards the left means the thinnest person where is the thinnest person in class 6 or 12 in class 12 as compared to the mean as compared to the mean where is the most fatty person in class 6 or 12 in class 6 as compared to the mean as compared to the mean so we can now differentiate na where will i find the thinnest where will i find the fattest by bringing them on scale by bringing them on scale so we have bring that normal distribution into a standard normal distribution so that we can do the comparison because over here it is very difficult to compare between these two values very difficult you cannot compare clear so we need a scale okay like we have a scale for kgs we have the scales for liters we have the scale for centimeters why we have these scales so that everyone will have the same measurement so we have given the name that it is a standard it's a standard that everyone can use it so they will first of all draw their normal distribution and from the normal distribution they are going to draw this standard normal distributions clear now let us come to over here this is my standard normal distribution over here you have the mean of 0 these all values are z values z values standard value known as z values clear anything towards the left of 0 will be negative anything towards the right of 0 means will be having the z value which is positive now if from 0 to 1 if it is moving from 0 to 1 that means my values are deviating by one standard deviation from the mean my values are deviating by one standard deviation from the mean if over here it is 2 my values are deviating two standard deviation away from the mean clear similarly if i'll go towards the left the same meaning is there that the values are deviating from the mean towards the left values are deviating away from the mean towards the right clear now you see that this part is not shaded and this part is shaded now they are saying that if this is a curve the probability means the area inside the curve is 100% the area inside the curve is 100% now now they are saying that if i am shading this part if i am shading this particular area now tell me what area is this shaded part and what area is this non shaded part this is what i need to find out how much is the area towards the left how much area is towards the right so means if i want to find out this value if i want to find out this value my z is going to be negative my z is going to be negative suppose it is minus 1.5 Minus 1.5, and I have all the values towards the left. Clear? So how will I calculate the probability? So now you see. First of all, you need to take minus one, and then you need to take 0.05. So you see that this is the value, means which is equals to 14.68 percent. 14.68 percent is the probability towards the left. 14.68 percent is the probability towards the left. Now. very important point let me draw it over here what was this negative 1.5 and over here it was positive 1.5 clear now the curve is symmetrical means the area over here and the area over here is going to be equal means if suppose they want to know that what is the probability or what is the area under the curve towards the right of towards the right of positive 1.5 so if this answer is 14.68 14.68 then then this answer is also going to be 14.68 percent are you clear means they can give you the table suppose they are giving you the table of uh, they are giving you this table and they are saying they have the value of positive 1.5 clear so in this table there is no positive 1.5 but you have negative 1.5 so whatever area towards the left of Negative 1.5 is equals to the area towards the right of 1.5. Towards the right of 1.5. Hopefully you are understanding this part. Clear? Now they can also ask you one more thing. They can ask you one more thing. They have given you that z value is negative 1.5. Tell me what is the area towards the right of it? Means what is this area? So if this area is 14.68, then how much is this area? So simply hundred minus fourteen point six eight eighty five point eighty five point three two percent is the area towards the right of it. Eighty five point three two percent area is towards the right of that 
particular line clear now they will provide you another table over here mean is zero now these are the positive values see always whenever you get the values you get the value towards the left whenever you will get the value you will get the value towards the left of it over here also the value was towards the left but my z was negative and the value was towards the left over here my z was positive and the value is towards the left so over here the shaded part is very high amount of area and unshaded part is very low area clear mark the difference between these two values okay the difference is only of the z value one which is positive so area towards the left is going to be very huge area towards the left is going to be very huge and area towards the right is going to be very small clear now suppose this is 1.5 positive 1.5 so over here you see 1 and over here you see 5 so now you see 8 5 3 1 4 so means this shaded area is 0 0.85314 or you can say 85.31 percent clear or you can say 32 percent now 100 minus 85.32 1.68 sorry 14.68 percent area is towards the right so whether you use this particular table negative table or positive table understanding must be clear understanding must be clear that which value you have to consider towards the left or which value you have to consider towards the right of it clear so what is the formula to calculate the z value of the standard normal distribution that is z value is equals to x minus mu divided by sigma mu means the mean of the normal distribution sigma is the standard distrib uh, standard distribution of the normal distribution sorry this one is standard deviation of the normal distribution and this is the mean of the normal distribution normal distribution and x means of that particular value x what will be the corresponding value of the z clear now let us take an example suppose i will say that this area is 70.19 percent this area is 70.19 percent now tell me what is the value of the z what is the value of the z or or might be they have given you this value that suppose uh, this value is 29.18 let us forget this 29.81 percent is the value towards the right of it clear now tell me what is the value of the z over here what is the value of the z clear so you can do one thing you can do one thing first you can do 100 minus 29.81 percent clear you will get something like 70.21 okay suppose this is the value which you got 17.19 70 this is the area towards the left now you can go to the table and search for these value 70.19 so where you can find out this value see over here you have 72 72 70.19 so you see 0 0.5 over here and over here 0 0.03 so this will become 0 0.53 0 0.53 so this value this value is going to be 0 point 0 0.53 clear now can you use this value and take the help of the negative table yes we can do why how like this 29.81 29.81 percent and the probability towards the left 29.81 probability towards the left so over here you need to search for 29.81 so let us see 4444 29.81 clear you see value 0. 0. 0.53 are you clear so if you don't want to do one minus that and then search for the table you can uh, check for the negative table otherwise you can also look for the positive table provided which table do you have at that point of time okay so now first point if someone will ask you what is the difference between the normal distribution and uh, standard normal distribution the answer is very simple so normal distribution can take any values okay the mean of the normal distribution can take any values but 
द मीन ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कैन हैव ओनली अ सिंगल वैल्यू दैट इज जीरो द मीन ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज जीरो सिमिलरली द स्टैंडर्ड डिस्ट्रीब्यू स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ऑफ द नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कैन हैव एनी वैल्यूज बट द स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ऑफ अ स्टैंडर्ड नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कैन हैव ओनली अ सिंगल वैल्यू दैट इज वन क्लियर now let us see the same thing in the excel that how we can do the same thing in case of excel okay so now let us see the value of 1.5 means if you know the value of z that is 1.5 then what is the probability 0.93319 clear now let us see the same in case of excel now how i have calculated this value how i have calculated this value let me zoom this value for you so over here i have used the formula that is norm s distribution norm s distribution clear and then i have written 1.5 comma true true stands for the cumulative distribution so yes this is a cumulative distribution clear now let me uh, help you with another example okay plus norm s distribution see they are asking for the z value suppose this time i will put 1.6 comma true so i'll choose true bracket close enter that is 0.9452 now let us see 0.9452 clear so means the same thing we can calculate it with the help of the excel clear now suppose we have the probability now we want to calculate the z value so how we will do that norm s inverse norm s inverse when you have the probability and you want to calculate the z value so 0.9452 you have the probability you are calculating the z value you see 1.6 1.6 again norm s inverse norm s inverse 0.93319 bracket close you see 1.5 are you understanding so we can do it with the help of the excel as well we can do it with the help of the table but if you are preparing some for some exam definitely you will not have the access to the excel so what access you have to the tables so prepare accordingly practice these tables so that uh, you are very comfortable with it and once you will practice two three questions out of it you will become very comfortable with this okay okay so i am ending this lecture here hopefully you understood the concepts very well and you must try it okay even uh, if you will get some time practice it on excel as well so that you will get the hands on it and once you are comfortable things will become cake walk for you thank you